All right, boys and girls, happy Friday. We all like Fridays because the weekend is coming, right? We get two stay home days where we don't have to work, right? We're gonna do D today. We're gonna do the handwriting page. We worked on, um, excuse me, I'm gonna move this way. We worked on D's on Zoom this week and making them, but I still like to do a lesson. I can start doing these lessons a lot faster now because the kids are getting so much better. But again, we have D for Dee Dee Deer, D, D, D for Dog. Oh, I love that golden retriever. I used to have one like that named Max. Um, and this is, this is how we make a D. If we were using the sticks, we'd use that big long stick and then the big curved line, right? Okay, so D is, it's a little tricky. Um, I was impressed though. You guys made really nice Ds this week on the boards, but we start with a straight line down and we jump back to the top and we make a curved line. The important thing is see how it's straight on the top here? You have to come out on the top first before you curve around and you have to go down on the bottom. So I need to see it on the top and I need to see it on the bottom and a nice curved line. Okay, let me do another good one. Nice straight line down, jump to the top. I come out on the top before I curve around. Now what makes it tricky is if I do what I just told you to do, come out here, and then you don't curve, it's gonna look like a box. It's gonna look like a rectangle, isn't it? So you have to make sure you curve, come out on the top a little bit and then curve. So look, if I just kind of erase this and this and curve it, then it would be perfect or pretty good. <laughs> okay, and then the other thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna come down right away. If you come down right away, look, it's pointy at the top, it's pointy at the bottom. You don't want it pointy. That's why you gotta come out here first and around like that. Okay, I, I think you guys are gonna do a good job, so watch now, lowercase d's. Okay, the number one thing is do not start from the top. If I start from the top and I go down, then you have to sit there and think, okay, does it go this way? Does it go this way? Okay, we make our b's, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'll just use my fingers. We make our b's like that, we go like that. But a D, we're gonna do it the other way. We're gonna start in the middle and make a magic C first. And then I like to lift up my marker and go up to the top and then go straight through. Okay, now there is another way to make them. This is the way Jack Hartman made them on the video this week. He went around, make the magic C, up all the way to the top and then back down. Now that, look, my D turned out perfect. But you kind of run the risk Unless you go really slow, you kind of run the risk of doing that, okay? Making a loop, right? Or not coming straight down, okay? Because you're going up and down. So I would prefer you guys go like this, magic C. What you could do is that pretend like you're going up, but I'm gonna lift up my marker all the way to the top and then all the way back down, okay? And um, then of course, just to make some bad ones, if you make it this way, it's backwards. You don't want to make it too small on the top and that's too small. You don't want to make it too big like that. You want them just right. You want them to touch the lines. Okay, we're going to come sit down at the table or my desk. Oh, <laughs> I just thought I was trying to think of D words. I forgot about desk. Oh, well, you guys can use the word desk if you want. So I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to tilt the camera very carefully like this so you guys can see the table, the desk that I'm working at. All right, we're doing the handwriting page. Seems like for some reason it keeps seeming like we do this on Friday. I know what it was, is we had two weeks with no school on Monday and that's why we have to keep going on to the, the next week. We can't finish the letter all in one week because we've had two days with no, two weeks with no school. Um, I'm a little bit dark here. Give me one second. I'm going to turn my little light on that goes behind my phone. There, that's a little better. All right, so on the Ds, like I said, since you guys are getting so good at doing handwriting, still have the lighting not very good. All right, I'm going to put my name at the top. All right, Mrs. J. And then I'm going to make my Ds. So I'm going to do just like I did on the board. Let me make a few. And I'll make three. Okay, and that's what they should look like, right? They should touch the top and the bottom, straight line, nice curved line. Okay, and you do have an eraser on your pencil. If you don't, hopefully you have another eraser at home. So if you don't make one, that's good. Let's say I make one like this. 
You like this one? I don't, it looks like a pea because I didn't touch the top or the bottom. So if you do accidentally make one like that, it's okay. But maybe you went too fast and you just have to slow it down and make them touch, okay? Or if you have one that's too pointy on the top or something, they should all look like this, like these. And for lowercase d, okay, we put dots in the middle. So that should help to remind you that you're gonna start with a magic C, straight line down, start with a magic C. That really does help um, so that you don't accidentally go the other way and make a B. B's and D's are hard for kindergarten. A lot of kids get B's and D's mixed up, okay? So if it was a B, we would start at the top and then go the other way, right? All right, I'm just gonna make two. And then when we get to the second page, <laughs> all right, there's already a duck on top. Well, good, because I was not very good at drawing a duck. I'll show you what I did. I came up with, I was trying to think of all the words we talked about this week between the picture cards and the, in our Nat Geo workbook. And uh, this is my duck. <laughs> I tried to make him swimming, didn't come out very good. I am not an artist, so I just try my best. So I did. Ma I made the duck going quack, quack, and then the word duck is right here. I put a door, that's a good D word. I made a domino, have you guys ever played dominoes? They have, it kind of looks like a dice, but they're, it's flat, it's a rectangle. I, I think I have, might have some here. There's a deer with the antlers. I made a dog. I wrote dog right here. This was supposed to be a donkey. I know it looks like a horse, but he's going hee-haw, hee-haw, donkey. I just put some dots here. I put this sight word do because it's our new word this week. It's a yellow word, okay? Do, with a capital letter, it would be a question, right? Do you like to swim? I made a dice with some dots. A dollar, a dollar is worth one dollar. A dime, which is worth, uh-oh, uh, I, I messed up. I put a one on there. It should be 10, 10 cents. It's worth 10 pennies, a doll, and then I drew a picture of the month of December. So all you have to do is pick out three words, and you might come up with something else. You might have an aunt named Diane or an uncle named Don, and if you want to draw a picture of them, then you can write their name with a capital letter. Oh, I just thought of one, Donald Duck. You guys want to draw Donald Duck? I'd love to see that. Okay, I'm going to pick out, um, let's see here. I'm just going to do a dog. And I'm just gonna do the, the face. I'm not gonna do the body. It's easier for me. I've got the ears and eyes and cute little nose, mouth, and I'll color. <laughs> I kind of I kind of made this part too, okay? Or you can make the whole body, it's up to you. Now dog is great because it's a sound out word. You won't even have to look at my little poster there. Duh. Uh, I still see some kids using capital letters. I really want them to use lowercase because for the majority of the time they write dog, it's gonna be lowercase. It won't be capital, okay? Um, and then we duck's already there, so let's see. How about a door? That's easy, isn't it? I'm gonna draw a door with a window on the top and make sure you make a doorknob so you can get in and out. Duh, or... Mm. Deer, da, da, two. I'm trying to see which one I want to do here. Um, I'm going to do a dice. A dice. So a dice is a square, but it's actually a cube. So this might be hard for you guys, but I know how to draw a, a cube. So I've got the front, the top, and the bottom you can't see in the side. So I'll put some dots. Ooh, I've got two for one. I'll put two dots on the top and five dots here and maybe three dots on the side. I'm gonna write dice, d-i-s. It sounds like an S, but it's a C, dice, okay? That you play dog, door, dice, okay? But this also had dots on it, so I could put dots. Maybe I'll put the dots down here. Oh, dinosaur, I forgot all about a dinosaur. If you wanna draw a dinosaur and have mommy and daddy help you spell it, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna color these. And I will take a picture of both of mine and put it on the assignment page so you know which pages to do. And um, that's a good activity for Friday because you guys are getting really good at those handwriting pages. All right, bye-bye.